Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my loves. So let's see what we have here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Capricorns, please. <coughs> Excuse me. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Capricorns, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Capricorns, please. Okay. So we have here Seven of Wands in the reverse. We have the Star card, Aquarian Energy. We have the Three of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Death card in the reverse, Scorpionic Energy. And we have the King of Wands in the reverse, Leo, Sag, Aries Energy. So under the deck, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy. So my loves, this could be you. This could be the person that you're dealing with, okay? So take it as it resonates, Capricorn. So what I'm feeling here, Capricorn, is I feel like someone here wants the walls to fall, okay? I'm feeling here that someone is uh, in an energy of, I'm tired of pretending everything's okay. Um, I'm tired of having feelings for a certain uh, person or situation you know i'm tired of, of feeling some type of way about something and holding it in um i feel like someone here wants healing with the three of swords and the eight of pentacles someone here is willing to put in the work to heal some form of heartache or some form of pain that was caused or maybe someone's just coming to a realization that there is a lot of history here and that there was a lot of pain and someone's tired of pretending like everything's okay. Like someone's coming to the forefront and realizing, listen, I understand that you hurt me um, or I understand that I hurt you and I really want to work on this. With the death card in the reverse, I feel like someone doesn't want this to end. And with the king of wands in the reverse, I feel like someone is humbling themselves. I feel like someone is releasing the ego. They're releasing the pride. They're releasing the need to be like I don't need you you know what I'm saying there's a sense of release here like I just I'm tired of of pretending like everything's okay okay so that's what I'm feeling on this side now this could be you this could be your person Capricorn okay Holy Spirit angel spirits and guides clarity guidance love messages for my Capricorns please clarity guidance love messages for my capricorns please yeah because with the king of cups under the deck capricorn i do yeah see two of pentacles and the knight of cups someone is in this energy of you know i have a lot of love for somebody i have a lot of feelings for somebody but i don't know if i should come towards them i don't know if i should show it i don't know if they've moved on i don't know if i should come in and talk i don't know like someone here is just in a sense of like i know that there was a lot of pain here i know that you know we hurt each other but i still love you and i'm tired of pretending like everything is fine you know when i'm not fine tell me about the seven of wands in the reverse we have the seven of swords in the reverse so i feel that Capricorn, someone here, again, the ending may have been ugly here. The ending may have been very swift. Someone here may have just acted too quickly out of anger, you know, coming from a, a negative place. And I ultimately, I feel like someone's tired of lying. They're tired of lying and pretending like everything's cool when it just isn't, okay? Tell me about the star card. Aquarian energy. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like someone wants to heal this because they feel the loss. This was like this connection meant everything to somebody okay at one point this was a ten of pentacles at one point this was this person's wish fulfillment everything that they could have possibly ever wanted was in this connection and they feel the loss of it they really feel that gapping hole and they want to heal it they want it back tell me about the three of swords we have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like every day that goes by that this person doesn't make the move to apologize or doesn't make the offer to come forward, it causes more and more heartache for this person. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. 
We've got the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Someone here is going to send a message saying, listen, I've come to realize that I really want to work this out with you. Okay, Capricorn, someone here is in an energy of they're waking up to the fact of, you know, I don't want to withdraw. Yeah, see, the Death card and the Hermit, this absence, this, this separation has caused me to really think about what I want out of life and I don't want this to end. King of Wands in the reverse. I feel like someone, yeah, so Eight of Pentacles, someone here is really humbling themselves, wanting to put their best foot forward to work on this connection. Seven of Wands, Five of Wands in the Death card. I feel like there was a lot of blockages here, a lot of drama. I feel like a lot of people got involved in this connection to cause this ending. Um, yeah, see, I'm seeing snakes here wanting to attack this connection um, and cause separation here and distance to see this connection fall. There may have been a lot of people that were jealous of this connection, Capricorn. Um, I'm just sensing overall a lot of drama and that everything ended too quickly. And someone here is like, you know what? That that was the happiest time of my life and I should have never released it. Okay. So someone here is humbling themselves. They're they're humbling their pride. They're humbling themselves to come forward and see if this can be recuperated. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Capricorns, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns. So what we have here, the Six of Pentacles and the Reverse and the Queen of Wands in the Reverse. So we have a situation here where someone is not wanting to give to a connection because with the Queen of Wands in the Reverse, um, we have someone here that is operating from a more negative emotion. Someone here maybe was very... Okay, no, excuse me. I feel like this person is very selfish. That Now they're in an energy of they want to take, but they don't want to give back. Okay, someone here acted is acting from a very selfish energy. Um, it could be because of what happened in the past, possibly. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Capricorns, please. We have the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy, and the Ace of Wands. There may be a situation here where this person possibly is in a relationship right now. They're getting divorced. They're coming out of a relationship and reaching out because I feel like this person here doesn't want to give to this connection because they're very jealous and overly possessive and they're not going to be a one night stand. This person's not willing to be a mistress. This person's not willing to talk in secret. Someone here with the queen of wands in reverse is going to get very upset because they're in this energy of, you know, I, uh, I'm not going to be your side piece or I'm not going to talk to you on the side or I'm not going going to, you know, just sleep with you while you're in a relationship, possibly. Yeah, so we've got the Ten of Wands and the Two of Wands in the reverse. So what we have here is an energy of someone who's going to put a lot of pressure on this person to make a decision. Capricorn, yeah, we've got the Hierophant under the deck, Taurus energy, the Eight of Wands and the Page of Swords and the Sun. Someone's in this energy of, if you want me back in your life, you need to show me that you we are headed towards a traditional relationship, okay? Someone here maybe just doesn't, you know, re religiously believe in doing something like that, or someone wants to know that they are going to be in a committed relationship. We have this person here that's not going to allow themselves to be taken advantage of. So with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, there could be a situation here where this person is going through a divorce, losing money. Um, they're coming out of a relationship. And this person here is like, listen, call me when it's completely done and over. Yeah. If you want, if you want a new beginning with me, you're going to have to show me. I'm not going to just take your, I'm not going to sleep with you and I'm not going to talk with you until that is completely over. Cause I'm getting a sense here of someone getting very angry, very mad, very upset because they're, they're being treated unfairly because they're being treated like a secret. Someone maybe is coming in just to talk or they're coming in just to sleep with somebody in secret. And this person, this queen of wands in the reverse is going to pressure someone to make a decision because they want higher levels of commitment. Someone's not going to be treated like a like a side piece here. Okay. Spirit messages for my Capricorns, please. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. We've got the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Virgo energy, pre-empress energy. I feel like we may be dealing with someone here that's possibly uh, needing help financially, codependent financially. And um, someone here is not willing to be in a relationship where they're not... Uh, 
Yeah, someone here is not able to stand on their own two feet. So what we have here is someone that's actually looking for a partner. Someone's they, they don't want to be alone. This person doesn't want to be lonely. Queen of Wands in the reverse. We've got the eight of, yeah, see, eight of cups and the queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Someone here is going to have a titty attack. They're going to have a full-blown tantrum saying, well, you need to leave her or you need to leave him. I don't, gender doesn't matter in tarot, but we have an energy here. I know a lot of people are saying they want to see the card, so I'm just going to lean forward and show you guys. We have a lot, of, we have someone here that's saying you need to walk away from your wife or your husband. You need to walk away from, you know, the person that you're committed to if you want to be with me tell me about the high priestess we've got the ace of cups yes yeah, someone here came to this this queen of wands in the reverse in secret wanting to start a new beginning in love wanting to talk wanting to have sex and this queen of wands in the reverse is a queen of cups in the reverse cancer scorpio pisces energy uh, I can't lie, this queen of wands in the reverse is using a little bit of emotional manipulation to get what they want here, okay? They're using a little bit of emotional manipulation to get what they want. Ten of wands. We've got the death card, scorpionic energy. Someone here is pressuring someone to end something here or they don't want to be bothered. Two of wands in the reverse. We've got uh, the ace of swords and the three of wands. Call me when you make your decision. I'll be waiting. Call me. When you're, when you're going to come towards me, taking action towards me, coming towards me with truth as to what you want. Let me know. Five of swords here. Okay. I feel like someone here wants to win and they will do anything. They will just, we have someone here that is going to get down and dirty. Someone here is going to fight any way that they can. They'll, they're, they want to win at all costs here. Okay. Um, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. So we have someone here that's using a lower vibration, let's just say, because we've got this queen of wands that's jealous, offended very easily, um, just very stubborn, possessive, controlling, jealous, just not a, a just very emotional outburst, ugly energy. And with the queen of wands in the reverse, that's also emotional outburst, emotional manipulation. Um, someone here that's using, you know, emotions to like pulling on someone's emotions. And I feel like this person is doing it because they're pressuring this person to leave their relationship. Someone here does not want to be a secret. They're not going to start a love affair with you or vice versa. Capricorn, if someone's coming towards you, you're like, I am nobody's side piece, you know. Clarity, guidance, and love messages. Tell me about the challenge here for my Capricorns, please. Tell me about the challenge here. We've got the Page of Wands in the reverse, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. We have Temperance, Sagittarian energy. Tell me about the challenge here. We've got the World card in the reverse. So what's happening here is with the Page of Wands in the reverse, this is generally an energy of... Um, I feel like someone is coming forward um, with bad news, okay? So I feel like this person here is coming towards this Queen of Wands saying, listen, I have bad news. You know, we may possibly try to work things out. I feel like this is a third party situation. I'm not going to lie. I feel like someone here keeps lying they keep saying that they're going to leave a marriage or a partnership and then what happens is peace peace gets made and it never really fully ends and this queen of wands has had enough capricorn okay someone's like listen you keep telling me it's gonna end and then you keep calling me with this bad news saying listen we were working it out we're doing this you know whatever it is you know with the tower it's like it's like you keep telling me that it's gonna end and then you call me with the shocking news of well we worked it out and you know we're, we're just going to try to give it one more chance yeah someone here is done someone's done being stuck in this energy of you know are we going to work are we not going to work what are we doing someone's just you know I, I feel like um someone's just done waiting someone's done waiting so the outcome here we've got the ten of cups that just popped out we have the sun and we have the chariot. I feel like someone here is choosing their higher level of commitment. We've got the sun, the Leo energy, and we've got the chariot, Cancerian energy, the strength card, and the hanged man. Um, 
Yeah, I feel like someone here is choosing their family or their higher level of commitment, okay? Um, with the Sun card here, someone's coming to the realization that they have to at least try to make the right decision. So I feel like someone is withdrawing, okay? With the Strength card, it could mean that, you know, this person here really does want to be with the Queen of Wands. They do, but they have to hold back until they really are sure um, that, you know, it is over, in this connection that they're trying to get out of. Yeah, see, someone here wants this person to leave the Queen of Pentacles, and here someone's giving the Queen of Pentacles a second chance. And it's turning into, like, mind games. You know what I'm saying? It's turning into, like, mind games. And now this person here is like, oh, do we want to play mind games? I know how to play mind games. I could play mind games. So this person here is starting to really, like, want to be heard. Because this person here keeps claiming that they're going to get out of this relationship, but then it, like, never happens um they keep giving this queen of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy another chance whereas over here this queen of wands is starting to really get pissed off because they keep getting told that they're walking away from the queen of pentacles you understand so someone's just like done not having it they're, this person here is really putting their foot down they're saying listen we're over until you come to me and tell me the truth and take action and tell me that you've left so it's time to, you know, what do they say? Shit or get off the pot, you know? Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Capricorns, please? Messages for my Capricorns. We've got reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And trust in the reverse. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So see, what's happening here is this person on this side is breaking the Queen of Wands trust because they're telling the Queen of Wands that they're going to leave their person and then they constantly end up reconciling. And this Queen of Wands is tired of having their, their trust um, broken. Okay. What else do we have here for my Capricorns? We've got, it's safe for you to love in the reverse. Yeah, see, this Queen of Wands is starting to feel really unsafe, and they're starting to get pissed off. So now the Queen of Wands, you're, you're going to start to hear it. Someone here, whether it's male or female, someone's going to start to get vocal about the situation. Okay? All right, guys. I love you, and take care. Bye.